Jack here, JBF Music and Guitar Lessons. In this quick guitar tricks we're looking at a 9 note picking pattern, not dissimilar to Eric Johnson's 5s, click the I up there for a card on that. As a side note you could play this with alternate picking, you could play it with strict economy, legato or a mixture of these. However, because this trick is ideal for downward pick slanting, that's the picking pattern that I'll be explaining. By the end of this video you should have a new 9 note pattern, 4 licks, an idea of how to use economy picking and an understanding of how you can apply this specific system to any 3 note per string scale shape. In a nutshell, whenever you want to switch to an adjacent string which is higher in pitch or closer to the floor, you do a mini sweep through the strings, hitting them both with a downstroke. For this lick you want to be using downward pick slanting like I mentioned earlier for maximum efficiency, so for more on that topic check out the lesson card up there. Examples will be in E minor but using various modes for a bit of variety. To start off with you might have noticed there what I did was just use a symmetrical scale. This will sound about out which is great if you want to create a bit of tension. It just goes tone then semitone, tone and semitone across every string. So this will make playing a group of 9 which is fairly counterintuitive just a little bit easier. And to break down the picking here what I'm doing is a down, up, down, up, that's all on the high E string, then we're doing a down, down, a mini sweep through the B and E strings, up, down, up, and for those of you who are counting along that concludes the meat and veg of this lick because that is nine notes there. Hopefully this overlay will help you keep track of where we are. Picking up from where we left off, using the B and the G strings, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Producing an odd grouping of notes where the melody becomes displaced, but more on that with the lesson card up there. It's sometimes easier to break it down into groups of twos, threes and fours. Here I'm probably thinking a group of four, three and two, uh, these notes. Four, these three, and these two. Uh, lightly accenting the first note of each group will help you to internalise this group of nine. So you can kind of think one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two. You might prefer to do uh, six and three. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Or any other variation. After a while you'll probably recognise the pattern and not really need this trick, but to start off with it is pretty handy. As before, what we do is carry on through the same shape. So this time on here, add the A and the E strings. And to wrap things up, because I've run out of strings, I'm just playing this note here. If any of these demos are too fast, I am trying to do them slow, but just use that settings cog in the bottom right hand corner. There are a few different ways of doing this mini sweep that you might want to try out. Obviously like I said you want to be downward pick slanting, which part of the pick you use is totally up to you and that will kind of dictate how you move your wrist. So you might use the edge of it, kind of more like this. You might use the point, you might just come at it straight down. Which is probably a bit easier but I really don't like the tone you get of the pick beating the, the strings at a 90 degree angle. You might be somewhere in between which is probably what most of us do. So other than the angle, the other thing to consider is what you're doing here. So you can move from your elbow and sweep through that way. You can move your whole hand down kind of from the shoulder. And what I tend to do is just do a little wrist movement like that. 
So I will tend to come through uh, picking kind of this way. So there you can see the sweep I'm doing the rest. And it doesn't really matter for me if I'm using more of the tip. I still kind of do that sweep or if I'm using more of the edge. That's just what I find more comfortable. Like I say, you might want to consider moving your whole arm or, you know, even kind of if you do a more kind of grip like this, you might be able to get away with just kind of pushing it down a bit. Different things to try out. And, you know, if you guys discover any breakthroughs, let us all know in the comments because it's bound to help someone out. same picking pattern as before that same nine note grouping as well but switching things up on the low e to give the lick just a bit of finality and this time using a kind of spiced up dorian which you might recognize from my previous dorian secret shred shape lesson with the eye up there just to keep some of that out sound we have from the previous lick if you're enjoying this lesson let me know with a comment and a like if you want more of this kind of thing in your feed don't forget to click subscribe and ring that notification bell but yeah we're using the same shape on the high e to the g strings this we have a chromatic descent on the D and the A strings. Then back to this first shape for the low E string as well. So that scale. As a side note for a legato variation on this lick, we can just add in this note so it becomes a group of 10. And we'll go picking it just on the E here and go through. That's uh, not really part of the lesson, but that's a lick I use quite a lot, so I thought I might as well chuck it in here. I mean, w once you're comfortable with both these things, you can even chop and change between them, but I don't want to risk uh, gilding the lily at this point.
quite similar to the last one. If you want to pause the video and work out what the scale is, I'll give you a few seconds. And for those of you that just want to play on with it, here we have the Dorian blue scale. It's much more authentic than the last one because it doesn't have the major sevenths that we included here. That D sharp. You'll have to move out position a wee bit to get this 11th fret. And on the D, this is major sixth. I'm opting to use my first finger and just kind of slide it down a fret a lot of the time. Just shift in here, but you could use your um, kind of third and fourth fingers down to the first, or you know, you could even kind of do that sort of thing. There's different ways to do it, it's just whatever is most comfortable. When I slowed it down there, I went to using those fingers at higher speeds, I'll tend to just do that. Try out different things and see what works better for yourself. Now, as yet another side note, you could actually play these groups as nine notes in the space of eight. For more on odd groupings, check out the lesson card in the top right. So basically any nine syllable word or phrase will help you keep in time. In keeping with the video that I just mentioned, a very happy hippopotamus, very happy hippopotamus, it would probably work. I, I, again, I don't want to get too sidetracked here, but it's definitely a path worth exploring, or at least having on your radar. Uh, finally, we're moving to a different plagal mode. We'll apply it to the Phrygian. Hopefully by now it's become pretty apparent how this pattern works with any three note per string scale shape. This could be a symmetrical, hybrid, a blues scale, plagal, pentatonic, or arpeggios, you know, whatever. Provided it's three notes on the string, you can use this anywhere. Hopefully you'll be starting to internalise this and feel some fluidity once you get committed to muscle memory. You can really rip through these scales after that. A special tip to those of you who still stuck around, uh, try playing it several times on any string grouping before moving on. So for example, we could play the first uh, group of nine three times. Then we can go back through the scales before. Then we can maybe double up here twice. And then finish off. So say we just run through that slowly, we could have... Something along those lines anyway, you can double them up and you can get a bit more bang for your buck with these licks instead of just running straight up and down the scale. Alright, this is not easy stuff and it might take a while to get the hang of so just bear that in mind. But that was my displaced 9 note downward pick slanted shred patterns, I need to work on that name a bit eh, just a wee bit bloated. 
But yeah, this has been Quick Guitar Tricks, that's the playlist there. For more shred patterns, check out this tutorial. If you've enjoyed this and want to support the channel, subscribe, give this video a like, that seems to really help out. Share with your friends, leave me a comment and enable notifications by ringing that little bell on the side if you feel so inclined. Cheers guys.